Hey everybody, this is Butt Sanchez, the only YouTuber that made you realize you've never had a better time on YouTube until now. Now, last episode we did Face Shrine level 6, and we want to go to level 4 next. And But before we do that, there's going to be an owl in the screen directly below here, so I'm going to try and skip the owl's flying animation. This one's a little... I think that's what I have to go out. Link's feet have to kind of barely go into that... I don't know what you call it, the heads-up display, I guess, for your items. Anyway, I'm going to drop a bomb, and then... Well, excuse me, I'm going to pause the screen. When I unpause the screen, I'm going to drop a bomb and hold down, and then hold pause when I transition, and another bomb should explode immediately, which should skip the owl's flying animation, but he'll his text box will still be there, so it should look something like this. There we go, got it. Very nice. Didn't really save any time, because it took more time explaining it, but this is a kind of a glitch playthrough. Now here is kind of a large series of Jesus jumps I gotta do. As you can see, I'm kind of stuck here. I don't have a flippers. I can't go through the cave and go out the cave because the entrance to this cave or the other, I guess, exit to this cave is on an island surrounded by water. So in order to get through this without the flippers, I actually have to do a series of Jesus jumps. I gotta do about five of them. So I will be safe stating this because you can saw block fairly easily. So what I need to do is jump off this ledge, but when you jump off, you pay attention to my input display. I actually can't like press the start button and go into the start menu like this. So to get around that, what you actually have to do is jump and then do the save and quit menu. And then that allows you to open up your start menu. Kind of a strange thing, but that's just uh, how it is. So I'm probably going to speed this part up because it's going to be me pausing and unpausing constantly trying to get this and I actually have to listen to this splash sound so bear with me here. Okay, I finally got it after about 10 minutes but not too bad. A pretty tricky, I guess, trick to perform, even though, surprisingly, I had about four perfect uh, Jesus Jump inputs, meaning I didn't have to pause buffer. Like, the second I pressed pause, I heard the splashing sound, so I actually could jump immediately after that, but... Like I said, it's kind of a... just a tricky thing. It's just frame perfect. You have to listen to it very carefully. I don't know the timing very well, but... If you want to try and get and perfect that, be my guest. I have more important things to do. Anyway, let's go to level four. So level four is kind of up in the mountain area in Telltale Mountains, which has the best song in the game, but unfortunately we're gonna barely listen to that song because we seem to transition in and out of caves constantly, so we just kind of miss it. Well, we don't get to listen to the song very, like much of the song, I should say. Trying to dodge the heart. Awesome. In addition, we actually get to use the, our key that we obtained in the last video to unlock level four in this video. Now the key hole in question is actually kind of on the river over here. And when you put the key in, it actually like kind of stops the waterfall from, I guess, dispensing water. Kind of a strange thing. You think Link would be able to just kind of I don't know, go through the waterfall. He was able to do that in Link to the Past to get the magic boomerang and whatever else, but apparently he can't do that in this game. I guess now I think about it, the water is actually deep right there and Link just doesn't know how to swim, so... You know what, never mind. I take back what I said. He can't go through the waterfall because he can't swim. Anyway, now we have to go through the mountains up here. Too exciting. I had to keep my bracelet on for a while just because of how many stones I got to move. I should have probably used a, uh, like a, a bomb event skip glitch, but it's whatever. Not a big deal. So this is Tall Tell Mountains. It has by far the best song in the game. Unfortunately, I'll be going in and out of dungeons pretty, or not dungeons, but caves pretty frequently in this that I just don't really get to enjoy the song as much as I want to. And that's just terrible, if you ask me. Then we get to hear this totally less awesome cave theme. 
but whatever. The you can actually save a uh, I don't know, like a very minor amount of time, and I would say like not even worthwhile amount of time if you kind of properly position Link over here and you can kind of kind of jump around this obstacle, but it's really not worth it. Besides, you already have the Pegasus boots. You may as well just use them anyway. Anyway, this is level four, just straight over here. Keep going on the shallows. We'll come back here later when we go to Eagle's Tower. But for now, here's level four. All right, this is Angler's Tunnel. Kind of probably one of the more technical levels to do in the game if you're trying to play through it with glitches to get through it as fast as possible. But hey, there's nothing wrong with that. I'm just going over there to get like a bundle of bombs that conveniently just right at the beginning of the dungeon because I mean you can never have too many bombs in this game, especially if you're doing glitches. Anyway, let's just kind of go up here. Let the jump over this pit over here. You shouldn't have to really need to hold left or anything. You'll be able to just kind of like have your momentum just kind of shoot you across. Whoop! Well, he's too yancy there. I tried buffering an input and those tech tights or whatever they're called got in the way. Okay, so for this, the game designers didn't think you could normally jump. We have to get to the northern part of the room. They didn't really think you can like kind of jump from here to the top. So you had to go all the way around, but we're not going to do that. Instead, what you want to do, come over here, clip into the wall. And I think this should be a sufficient distance. So Link's nose has to be kind of past the little line on the wall, on the block right here. So I think right here is perfect. So I should be able to get this perfectly, hopefully. Okay, per awesome. And that's what you have to do. You just kind of... You don't only really want to hold up when you're running. You kind of want to wait till the apex of your jump and then... Or after you jump and then hold up. And you should be able to just barely get that. Pretty cool. And then over here, I'm just going to kill these Zoles because they kind of annoy me. And we need the Rocks Feather anyway. So we have to do a Jesus jump over here. I'm going to save state because I don't want a soft lock. So just kind of Jesus jump to the left. Again, I have to be quiet to listen to the plopping sound. Oh, I got it perfectly. Excellent, awesome. Didn't take too long. I will edit that out. Well, I guess you'll see, obviously. So these are Helmasars. Probably the most annoying enemy in the game, unless they have the hook shot, then they're not too bad. But you can only hurt them from the behind, like this. They dodge your attacks really annoyingly. So just kind of solve the puzzle. Make sure you don't walk on the brown platforms after if they're not sparkling. Otherwise, it resets the puzzle. Grab the flippers and now Link can do the impossible. He can swim now. Thank God. And with that, we're just going to kind of go over here. I don't think we need this chest. All it is is just a key in there. I'll just open it up just to verify it. And just kind of go them over here. I definitely do not want to open this chest because it's a like a Zol is in there. So I want to equip my power bracelet. So let me explain this first. So I'm going to come down here. I need to be clipped into the wall. I'm going to do a a super jump and then jump to, towards the right when the P hat is at its highest, I guess at the apex of its height. And then I'm going to super jump to the right while holding my sword out. And you have to hold your sword out, and you should be able to bonk into the P-Hat onto the ledge uh, directly south of where Link is. So let's try this again. So I need I need the brace without to move those jars, so you're with me here. Okay, awesome. Oh, did that wrong. Did that wrong. I'm not good at unbuffered ones. Oh, there's Yancey there. Too late there. There we go, got it. So I don't know what the game designers are thinking. Like, you're not normally supposed to come this way to get up to that ledge. You're supposed to kind of, I think, go in the room up there and solve the puzzle. But I mean, you can obviously just do that. I don't even know what they're thinking. And obviously they were not thinking, but whatever. All right, here's the boss room. This is by far the worst boss in the game. And by that, I mean, he's not difficult. He's just the dumbest boss in the game. I uh, whatever, I didn't get that, but that's not a big deal. So this is the fish. 
All you do is just shoot three bomb arrows at him. Before you know it, he's already dead. By far the wimpiest boss in the game. Not even a challenge with him. He didn't even get a chance to attack. And his attack, and I use that term loosely, is essentially sending a swarm. I also use that word loosely. A fish to attack you. And just like that, uh, Angler's Tunnel is completed, so I will see you in the next video.